It was about 2013. Mm -hmm. um, I was just randomly started getting very sick. I was having about 10 bowel movements a day, mm -hmm. um, completely fatigued, couldn't work. Uh, I had just graduated college, couldn't even go to my job. I, I pretty much was self-isolated in an apartment in Santa Monica, I couldn't leave. Yeah. Um, so, so tired all the time. Uh, so I went to, my first doctor was, I went to USC. I found one of the top GIs there. Okay. And then she told me that it was basically all in my head. Mm -hmm. And so then I went to the Mayo Clinic. I flew out with my mom to Arizona. We went to the Mayo Clinic. Yep. They ran multiple tests, took tons of blood samples, uh, did an endoscopy, colonoscopy, basically everything you can do. Um, they found nothing. They said I was completely fine. Yeah. No diagnosis. Um, they did give me some medication. It was budesonide because they said maybe this would help. I yeah, took that. Right. Yep. Yeah. Started feeling more sick. I went from maybe 150, 155 pounds. No, about 160 pounds all the way to 120 within maybe a month. Jeez. My hair was falling out. <laughs> I was I was in bad shape. My, my whole family was kind of nervous and yeah, kind of freaking out what was going on. And then I went to uh, UCLA, found a GI there, mm -hmm. got put on some medication, which started to help a little bit. I was still having multiple BMs a day, but this is like five years later. I, I've been, I was struggling for about five years trying to figure out what was going on. I, I was basically dying and, you know, basically dying. I couldn't hold anything in. I was multiple bowel movements, multiple diarrhea, couldn't really eat, couldn't figure out what was going on. But every doctor said, there's no diagnosis. You're, yeah. you're fine. Yeah. Um, and then, so the crazy part was I was sitting there in bed and I don't know how I found you really. I think it was just, I saw something on Instagram Yeah. and I saw your photo Yeah. and I said, oh my God, this is me or this was, or this is me right now. And then <laughs> I was looking at you with your before and after. I was like, oh my God, this guy is totally the same, the same deal as what I'm going through. Yeah. Um, but the whole situation with going to the doctors and no diagnosis and literally dying, I, it was it was miserable. What what are your symptoms like now? So right now I basically have one to three BMs in the morning. Bowel movements. Yeah. Um, no urgency. Yep. Everything is solid. Um, no cramping. Um, I have great energy. I travel. I yep. go to work every day. I have a very high stress job and I handle it just fine. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, you don't want to hear this, but I haven't been eating as well as I should be. <laughs> I'm eating a little bit. I'm fine. They're celebration meals, man. Celebration. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's still fun. Everything is, is doing great. I've gained back to my weight. I'm at 145 now. Yeah. Uh, I was, I've been struggling with weight uh, ever since I got sick and now I'm almost to where, I'm pretty close to where I was before I got sick. Yeah. I'm still working on that, but yeah. you know, I'm, I'm just living my life normally. I haven't been on any medication. I think, I think you got me off my medication within like two months, maybe even, even sooner. Wow, after four years of medication, we got off, yeah. in, we got off in two months. Yeah. And, um, and how long have you been medication free now? I've been off for about one year and two months. Wow, one year and two months off the medication while maintaining normal gut health, gaining weight, great energy, eating a broad diet, eating whatever you want, even if it's some celebration meals. Yeah, absolutely. And it's weird to say, I just, I feel normal. <laughs> yes. I feel like I'm supposed to feel, I think. And, and what do you think allowed you to be successful? I mean, all these years, I mean, you're a smart guy. You were looking on the internet. You were looking at supplements and diets and natural medicine. What do you think helped us really strategically find an answer for you? What, what would you say? Um, you know, I leaned heavily on you. Yeah. <laughs> I <did a> <laughs> what to do? <laughs> I leaned heavily on you, but you know, I think what it was was just that Every single doctor was, I guess it's, it, the, the answer to your question is, I found you because I was tired of all the other crap where a doctor had no idea what I was going through and couldn't diagnose anything. Yeah. So I was really searching for somebody that was like me yeah. and I couldn't find anybody that was like me. I, yeah. I was an outcast basically. I was losing friends yeah. um, because I couldn't keep up with, with going out with them or hanging out. and. 
So when I just, when I saw you and I was like, okay, this guy at least understands. So yeah. then I can at least tell him my symptoms and we can look at them together and be like, okay, he's had that. And now I have that. So what did you do? And you're like, this worked for me. Try it. And it's like, yeah. okay, I'll try it. So <laughs> I think it was basically really just being able to speak with you because you have been there before. Yeah. That helped us formulate, okay, these are my symptoms. Have you had those or do you have experience with them? How, how long since we started did you start seeing results? I, I think it was literally month, like I, I think even a couple weeks in, but I want to say we dropped my medication from, I was on maybe 30 milligrams to two and a half within one month. And that was basically nothing. And I wow. want to say by month two or three, I was completely off the medication completely off the medication and then we were starting to treat the issue as is yes yes and so when i got off the medication i was still having a little bit of issues but then we found a protocol that started to taper it back and then yep. uh, it was the way i can describe it is like a roller coaster but only moving up yeah so like a would, stock exactly exactly like, like a long-term stock that's got a positive trend yeah. so we we would try things and it worked out but then you know, I might come down, but then we we adjust and pivot and we go up again. And then yep. I'd come down and go up. And so starting from here, I got all the way up to here and I was always moving forward. And we tried a, quite a few different things and we found, you know, what worked the best. We, we tried some protocols that, you know, okay, this works, but the other one we did worked even More better. Effective. So we hop back to that. Yeah. And, and it's all natural stuff. So it's, it's, all na it's all natural from your house, easy yeah. to do. Yeah. And we built we built a nutrition plan that gave you freedom to say, yeah. look, I understand food now. I'm not on a diet. Do you would you yeah. consider yourself on a diet right now? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> and not. But do you consider yourself confident in eating healthy in a way that's good for you? Oh yeah. Oh I oh absolutely. So I, I I understand like that you know I don't really want to eat terrible things all the time because yeah. I feel good and I want to keep eating those good things mm -hmm. but I mean I can go out to a restaurant I can go out with friends I was just in three different states last week on five different airplanes at work I was up at 6 a.m. I was going to bed late you know no problem but I feel like I've got a playbook yeah like, when I go travel, I've got certain supplements that I can I can take and be preventative. Yeah. Uh, if I'm going to be very high stress at work, I've got preventative stuff. If I know, it's yeah. just I've got all these different situations and playbook. I would say that there is definitely hope. There, the hope is not lost. I I basically thought that I was done for, yep. and that there are a lot of smart people that go to school to be doctors, and they have. One, they have a, 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 a blinder vision of what medicine looks like. And there is so much more functional medicine out there yep. that people don't really give thought to mm -hmm. that people really need to explore. I mean, I would say call you definitely because you, you <laughs> cured me. But I mean, they just really, it was, it was really difficult for me because a lot of people started to make me think that it was in my head. Yeah. And I knew it wasn't in my head. I knew my anxiety would, would make it worse because I had the issue. But I really would, would want everybody to know that there is a way out. I, I never thought that I was gonna be better. I thought I was like this for life and I was screwed. Mm -hmm. And it was so weird how fast it changed. Like I was sick for almost, I, I wanna say like seven to 10 years. I, I don't know the exact date, but, mm -hmm. and then two months talking to you, it was a complete 180. Just don't give up. Don't give up at all. You can do it. You know, I think it was just motivation for uh, me knowing that, or motivation once I started feeling better, was that, wow, like this changed so fast and it was in such a quick amount of time. So don't give up.